All right, lap of the island. Lap a mere 175-ish miles. Mm. Combining two of the coolest loops ever into a never having been done before lap of the island, at least by us. Hit it. We're going east on the road to Hana. Hana is about 40 miles away. So at 6.30 in the morning, we don't expect much traffic. It seems to be a safe bet. some mix up of Jurassic Park and Dr. Seuss and the Emerald Castle from Wizard of Oz. It is absolutely stunning. You want a quick stop here and then we're gonna go yonder direction where they say don't take rental cars. It is the long way around the loop. Loaded up, lots of hydration, but supposedly it's hotter than hot. So, I got four bottles. Hoping for the best. Well, this is a bit nuts and stunning and Windy and really cool. Well, we've just wrapped up the super duper gnarly gnarly section now we're on this silky ribbon of pavement and the geography has changed. So now we're basically in the savanna, which is pretty freaking wild. Super hot, dry, looks, uh, being from Vermont, I know what the savanna is like. So I guess it looks like this. south loop but we just get back to this middle point and you can see the resorts you can see Kaului you can see the airport you can see the next northern lobe that we're gonna go around which is kind of reassuring after being barren in the middle of nowhere for the past oh four and a half hours say to Reese's Pieces, we're seven hours in, 11,000 feet. We've been flying lately, um, getting through the flats, all through the middle of the island, increasing our average speed from 15.9 to 18.4, largely courtesy of that guy. Sam's fast. What's up, Bone Diddlies? 
You're doing it! We're really doing it! It's our Peloton. And I'm listening to Stuff You Should Know podcast and I'm learning about why New York City water is so good. Great episode. Hot, 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 hot. Almost done, almost done. This is a very happening Paia, which is the very last town until about, well, it's the last town actually. So far, so great. I'm just hot and tired and thirsty and all those things. Absolutely amazing ride. I have freshened up, took a shower, cleaned the bike. Hands down, the bike of choice when you're doing an entire coast ride lap of this island, of a Maui, is a gravel bike. Now naturally, probably 99% of the ride was paved, but the gravel was so crushingly difficult that anything shy of the 44 slicks, I think is gonna be uh, a bone jarring experience. So on this gravel rig, I have my traditional 46 tooth front chainring with a 1050 Eagle rear. I could easily go down to a 44 chainring because the steeps are incredibly steep. I got the 44 slick Renee Hurst Snow Qualmy Pass tires. That was absolutely the tire of choice. Between the mud, the gravel, the washboard, the super gnarly chunky stuff that was hands down the tire of choice and then I went I went big in terms of my handlebar bag moose packs makes a traditional call it burrito plus size bag and then this is an enormous one that Matt Musa of moose packs made special for a jet boil of all things um, I asked him to make one that could fit a jet boil and this one is is considerably larger than the standard one but this way I could put in a full water bottle plus all the food and snacks. I could probably put two water bottles in there. So that was kind of mandatory because you're going super long distances in high humidity, high, high heat, high exposure. Hi. Bye-bye.